Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deep Third, episode 90. Yeah, 90. So we're getting, getting very close to the 100 mark, aren't we? Okay, so when I loaded up the game, I saw this traffic jam. And it goes on a fair while. In fact, it goes on a little too far. When I first started the game up, there it is, it goes right back there. Let me just step out of that for a moment. I move faster when I'm not in the... Just right up here, look at that, look at that, look, that's just horrible, right? So, two solutions. First is, we make this to a two-lane road, all the way down here, because some of these cars probably aren't wanting to go straight ahead. So let's get that upgrade done straight away. Uh, I'm going to use this road, because I, I kind of like this one. It's a nice four-lane road for this kind of place. And I'm going to make it run four lanes bef to about here, before the actual traffic builds up. Yeah, no, there's no... Uh, there's no pretty trees on this road, unfortunately. I am aware. Uh, Interfer lights get formed? Nope. Nope. Good. Okay, no traffic lights were formed in the process of doing that, which is great. Now, it is making cars... The cars are getting down here a bit faster, because I upgraded this road before recording. But I wanted to make sure that was done. Uh, there's still a lot of problems here with the turning, and honestly, a lot of these problems here are these vehicles turning left. Now, I don't think there's a way for me to stop that. Which is kind of annoying, but I don't think I can stop them turning left here. The only thing I could do is stop this actual road being a, a thing. Which, honestly, isn't a major problem. I mean, if we were to remove that, just as a temporary piece right there. Okay, so it temporarily turns off that piece. I mean, these guys shouldn't go that way anymore. Because this is a two-way road, so this should hopefully help with this problem. Uh, I don't know where you're going. You're going to despawn yourselves? Yep. But that looks like it's helping a fair bit, actually. Alright, so we're going to change this around. Um, get rid of this entirely. I don't need that at all anymore. We'll keep this part for the bus stops, though. But there we go. Uh, I don't need that for walkway, because they are using this footbridge very, very nicely now. But, uh, one thing I did notice is these trains coming down were getting quite uh, a lot more cargo trains coming in. Now, hopefully, this mechanism will allow them to uh, stop doing this little congestion. Alright, this, uh, this track has to have a double side. Is there a train track this side I can tap into? I could bring that track up and around it. I can't, unfortunately, I can't get to it from outside here. Do I, I have bought all the land, haven't I? I have bought all the land. Okay. So my hope would have been to bring that up here. But since I can't build outside the land, it's going to be from here. So I'm going to swing that up this mountain here and jump across to there somehow. And it's, it's going to look really bad. So, I don't think we're going to do that. But I can try and bring it up this mountain. But it's just, these mountains, they are so tall. I mean, you're, you're not supposed to build up here, basically. Uh, but it's a flat land, and I want to build it there. So, nah. Um, we could try bringing up a subway, but I want to... Because uh, I have the underground, underground subway. But I want to get to this station, because it's double-sided. But I'm okay without it right now. But look at this. Pass even the passenger station is uh, getting backed up on it now. Which is uh, which means a lot of people are using the station, so that's great. Uh, I am aware they could do both sides, so why they're not using both sides, I don't know. I've seen I've seen trains in this side before. I bet the green will do actually. Give it a second. The orange moves in. Orange is an outside town um, train. I don't think we have orange at our own. The green's one of ours, so I bet the green will move to the other side. Yeah, green goes on that side. I thought it might do with all them people stood there. And then the orange, the purple, pinky one's going to have to sit and wait for this one to leave, which it's doing now anyway. Everybody on? Look at that, yeah. Now, oh, for the first time, pretty much ever, I can't see the uh, frame rate. Uh, the steam overlay has gone away. Hmm, interesting. And being near this many people usually causes a frame drop. If I was, I was, that's why I was looking for it. But uh, this is causing some congestion, but let's keep an eye on it. I think this road change has helped it quite a lot. Unfortunately, it hasn't helped it that much back here, but... Uh, can't do much about that just yet. Although, look, look here, cars are turning, which they weren't able to turn before. So this might help with congestion problems. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping... I wish these guys would uh, be in their right lane, not try and change lanes. It's just annoying when that happens. Uh, in fact, what I could do here is I could give them an order of you're not allowed to change lanes at this point. Um, it is junction restrictions. That one. No lane changes for you. There we go. That'll uh, <clears throat> force them into the middle lane, basically. So the left turning lane doesn't get jammed up for people trying to uh, change lanes all the time. 
I'm gonna do it with you as well, aren't I? Because people are idiots. Yes, they are. Okay. Boop. No changing lanes for you. There we go. That should force them into turning, and then uh, I'm gonna actually give them a lane restriction. No. Uh, no going straight forward in that lane. That road doesn't really need a going straight forward section. That's a, that's for turning. I want to get people onto the highway, and if they need to get on the highway, I want them to get on the highway as fast as possible. Um, I'd rather them be in there. I don't, they, I don't care if they change into another lane here. That's their choice. But at these two junctions, where they're so close to the exit, I don't want them doing that. Auto save. And that does appear to, at least to somewhat, to be working, because you probably want to go to the train terminal. Um, now you can go to the highway, go right around and come back again, so... Kind of worked. Uh, these do appear to be going well. That condition has come down a bit, so we'll... Uh, because I did upgrade it to there. So it's down, it's down like a one and a bit, so we're down a bit. Alright, this part is working fine. We have got a lot more trains up here now. I don't think we need that many trains, but I'm not going to take them away because they're quite useful to have. There's another pink one coming down the line, though. We might have enough pink ones. But I'm going to keep them on for now. Anyway, back to the thing we were supposed to be doing before, which was starting a construction of a new area. So we have a plan, and the plan is to build a new area. Now, uh, I want to try and keep the road in a situation where when there's a junction coming off, they come off the appropriate side and then cook under and back up again. So we don't have uh, people leaving and, and up on both sides. Now, that's only part of the plan, and that doesn't make sense. Let me put it this way. Uh, give me a slip road. I'm sure you know what I mean. Uh, I always forget if we're driving left or right. We are driving on the right. Okay. Uh, so the plan would be, for example, coming down here, coming off the motorway, you would go off that side, and then we'd block those ways from turning. And coming back up, you come up from here, and you come up there, like that. We do a better job, hopefully. Uh, and but you would only be able to turn, you wouldn't be able to go through that junction at all, and there'd be no traffic lights, definitely. And there'd be no crossing here, right? So what we do is further up here, we'll have you come off this side, get into that, and then that one goes back up again. So basically, they're all going to be like little. Uh, Little connecting points. But there we go. That's that's kind of the idea. Whenever we have a junction, there'll be another junction just a bit further up, which goes in the opposite direction, not in the same place. So uh, hopefully that will uh, alleviate a lot of congestion problems. In fact, we should start doing that around this area. So this is a long area, and we'll have multiple exits and entrances on this on this thing. So let's start at the very beginning of the bend. So we'll start you this way, and be up there. And we'll have nice long uh, connection points if we can, like that. So they have a smoother ramps, and then this side will do exactly the same that way. And then we'll use the flipping tool to actually flip it around. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to get into the situation again where it's uh, really steep bridges, really steep drops and stuff. We'll we'll get to th we'll get to the things basically. There we go. And then we'll use the upgrade tool to flip, flip. There we go. And I'm not going to do the junctions and stuff yet. We'll do them. We'll get to the back end. Is this game running? Yes, it's moving. Good. So that's kind of the idea, and then uh, we'll have the this road will curve into the town here, and this road will go into the town a road further up, and so they'll uh, they'll be a way in way out, and then we'll have another one up here, and then another one up here, and this will have like six or seven possible entrances and exits. Okay, so getting that started, we can actually de demolish some of that because that bridge is down and it's done, and we can turn that into there, into the actual city, which is going to be a bit further back. So for the city itself. I want to use the tree line ones, but I'll use the centered ones. Let's not use the centered ones. The centered ones have a divider and a dope. Oh. If we use those everywhere, the central reservation, they won't be able to uh, complain at us for doing stuff. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about the, uh, the fact we have all the problems with cars cutting the crossroads. This will make sure cars go to junctions. Mm, should be better. Okay. Let's start this like that. Keep it a fair distance from that uh, motorway if we can. Uh, but we'll try and keep it relatively good. And we're gonna have, it will have curves on it, unfortunately. Um, as much as I'd like to get rid of the curves in some areas. But we're following a road that has a curve on it, so uh, there's not much choice. We could build a grid, but I really don't want to build a grid this time. We, the grid works well, but they are so impersonal. There we go, and then I am aware I'm going to lose a lot of housing spaces on this. Ah. But, uh, tough. 
There we go. And it's gonna be, oh, it will be hard to keep that contour. We will we'll have gaps in it. So there's not much we can do about that. Okay, slip road. You can go into here. Oh, it'll be at a straight edge like that. And then you're going to cut in further up. We don't know where you're going to be just yet. So what we then do is up here on the road types, we'd have you again. I have a straight line from you running out this way <clears throat> to the very end of the road. Like that. So these are little, so these are actually sort of travel out from each other a little bit maybe. I'm not sure how it'll look, but we'll figure it out. Right, so the next one wants to be at least three or four blocks away. So that's one block, two blocks, three blocks, and we'll say four blocks away. It runs out like that. And that's where the uh, where this road's going to connect into. So slip roads. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And you would go... Oh, can I have another straight tool, please? Straight tool's kind of annoying on all the occasions. And hello. I see you under the pillar. There you go. I do like the uh, move tool for that. It's just like there's a pocket bird in the way. How about we move that out of the way? There we go, and that is a little bit sticky there, so let's move you that way just a tad. And take that off with a little bit of a bend. There we go. So that gives us the outbound and the inbound. And hopefully that will give us uh, a much smoother road. Because um, what's happening, Cas won't be using that as a turn around ho that much, hopefully. And we'll do the same up here, and we'll do the same up there, and we'll have um, going. So this one is going for this way, and the next one will be going on the opposite direction. That's kind of the hope, anyway. Let's switch back to normal tool, then we'll do the next one. So the next one, so these go. These are all for feeding from that side. So this one here is feeding from this side. So we go from. Can I have the tool? Thank you. It was a, it was some kind of weird upgraded tool thing. So we're going about what one, two, three, four. We're going about five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go from here. You are going to go and connect up to that bridge there uh, for an outbound going the other, going which way would you go so the that you're gonna be going this way so we'll bring it up to here boom move it tool to make it a little less crappy maybe not quite that aggressive on the move it tool all right it looks really crappy uh, let's see, let's move you this way. Wow, that is a horrible, horrible, horrible junction. There we go, and... Problem solved! That was a horrible move. Let's try everything from here. Uh, there down. Down, down. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Boom. And then that's not too much, but that's what we have to do, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, you start there, you curve to there, and then from here you go up there. Boom, you're up. Next up, hang on, uh, next up, so you now need to have one going in that direction, which is going to come from down here, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to estimate these because of the uh, solid blocks on the straight pieces. But I'm mean, going to be about there. And you would go... Oh, hang on, how did we go? It's uh, straight out. So straight out from there. To about there. And that's in the way again. Damn you. Damn you. And your inability to... Oh, look, you can move it. <laughs> uh, okay. You would go... You're about here. A bit there. Bring you through, boom, make a turn, elevate you slightly at this point if we can, boom, and then begin the finish turn up to there, there we go, and I would like to make it a bit more of a smoother junction, but actually it's not too bad, remember we're going to turn off the ability to cross lanes, so that's going to be a much better junction at that point, and that's the U done, so the next one is going to be this one going that way, so we'll go from here, uh, down to there and then into the dead end boom okay and then the next one 
will be... Yeah. And then this one will go that way. This one way around. No, you go that way, you go that way. Oh, they both serve the inbounds. These should both serve the outbounds. So you actually turned the wrong way. Uh, I may have got this slightly wrong at this point. Uh, you want to be... Yeah, I got it slightly wrong, I think. So you go off on the left. And this one to go on on the left. Which it does. Uh, right, sorry. Which it does. And you go on that way. Yeah, okay. That actually is correct. But I haven't flipped that one around yet. That's all it is. Okay, so if we're going to do that, you would be the other exit there. So you should be the exit there. Flip it to it. I'm doing flipping that one. I'm getting confused already. There we go. So you come down there, get off. You can go up there. I didn't think that one through, did I? Damn it! I want to have it alternating, so I made a mistake. Right. There, uh, bulldozer off. Let's have a look. So the solution here is you're going that way. So I want to do the same sort of behaviour up here. So up here, I want to have a ramp coming down. We're a bit further away than I want it to be, but I think we kind of have to be for this move. So you come down here. Like that. And you would go that way as well. Which is my problem. I didn't actually do the downward piece like that. Did I just take you into the... No, let's raise it up. So fine. It goes down like that. Although that's way too steep. So let's redo that one. Down, down. Boom. There we go. It's still a bit steep than I'd like it to be. But uh, it's fine. And... You want to be the inbound, so flip you around so I know what I'm doing. Boom. Boom. So you would go up to here. Maybe not quite so sharp on that bend, but up to here. Like that. And then you would connect in there a little bit earlier and even possibly Remove that and make it sharper into there. There we go. And then we just flip that around. So there we go. So you're now going that way and we do the game and then we repeat. Okay, that should hopefully work the best way. Just get rid of you. No, actually you're okay to stay. Because you're actually facing the right direction. So I can get you. Come off this way. Down, down. Boom. Go under there. Yeah, I'll leave that one in a bit sharper, I think. Boom. And in. You need to cut back a little bit earlier. Like that, pretty much. There we go. That's doing quite well. That is a horrible one. What happened? What happened? How did that happen? Okay, let's bring you to here. I can bring you under that. Nope problem. He says without checking it would actually be no problem. Swing it into here. Get it into there. There we go. Right. And then this one will be, so that one is the outbound on the left, so you're going to be the outbound on that side. Flip that one over. There we go. And that's one, another one done. Yay! And then next one goes up here and we've, and we've got two more to go, basically looking at that. So one, two, three, I said five, that's about right. Okay, nice. These junctions have been a little bit more confusing than I wanted them to be, so. So these ones will go that way. So what we'll do is we'll start you off with an exit here. Start you off with an exit here, so I can see that being there. And we'll bend it, uh, like, oop, bit, bit further out for the for this. There we go, a bit of that. And then have you go up there. Like that, okay. Uh, that's the outbound, so we're going to be doing that fine. And then this one wants to be about here. We're going to want that one connecting up to there. Oop, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get it lined up properly. No, like, there we go. And you go like that. And then you go up there. 
boom, and then what happens to here? This travels along the edge, right? This will travel along to here, and then up there. There we go. Again, a little bit on the horrible side, so let's remove that. Can you not do that horrible flicky thing? No, apparently you can. Could you try that? No, okay. Could you try that? Apparently no, that's not an option, okay. It's flicking between I can and can't, but actually if you look at the thing, it's like, I can, 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 look, I can. Okay, one more time, really harsh. Okay, back a bit more. Wow, this is becoming really awkward for the uh, AI. Alright, move tool, you're on. Put that to there. Make it less of a horrid junction. There we go. Alright, that's one up, and let's look to do the rotations. Uh, this side was the exit, so that side wants to be... I should it be easy to just look at the junction, wouldn't it? It kind of gives it away at that point. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. And then you go that way, which is perfectly fine. And the next one up is the other way. And I think that's going to be the end of it. I don't think we're going to have enough room for one more. So, let's look at that next one. Um, next one's going to be facing the same direction. So it's going to be, it's going to be about here, facing away. We got quite a long distance on these, but that's because I wanted that one to be there. Although, not much we can do about it anyway. They kind of have to be. That one looks really good, though. Yeah, that one looks pretty good as a distance. That one's a lot longer than it had to be. Let's uh, pull these back a moment. All right. So they go up like that, then straight on. That one goes up and pretty sharply on. So we can do this pretty well, I think. If we go from here, up like that, and then up like that. I mean, it's sharp, but it's doable, right? And that one doesn't have to go way as far as that one just did. Like that. Yeah, that, that's, that's a much shorter run. Okay, flip that around. There we go. Oops, I, apparently I re, re flipped those ones. There we go. And that'd be much like that one, good. And then that one's pretty similar. And then we should have enough room for one more here, and maybe one here, but I'm not sure on that one. Okay, well, the other one's going to be here, so I'll switch the tool. It'll be here, coming... Oops. It'll be here, coming down, like that, with a sharp turn into there. Yeah, so we're not going to have room for another one, unfortunately. Uh, then you would come up here. Uh, you make that turn, if you can, that'd be awesome. Don't think you can make this turn, though. Okay, you can. Uh, move tool, just make that a little less awful. There we go. No, there we go. And that is pretty much all of them done. I can't really get another one in here. Not really in the design of the road. All right, let's get these flipped around. Turn for lights, traffic lights off and lane adjustments. And we'll be good. Right, so first things first. Uh, let's go and switch to lane adjustments. So here, no turning. Here. Here, no turning. Mm, you're okay, and you're not a problem. Traffic lights go away. That should stop traffic from crossing lanes. Up here, we do the same thing. So traffic lights off. Lane adjustment. Uh, y you, y you no. And then you, no. And that should be fine. And then up here, you know, traffic lights off. I did. So up here we have you. No. You. You. No. Lights off. Boom. 
And then, I think this is the final one. No, we got more. Ooh, I think we had that. I thought we were going through them, but no, apparently not. Lights be gone, Junction. No. You need to be flipped around, though. You are the wrong way around. So I need to double check all these now. Damn you. Ah, uh, okay, you. Are they the. Okay. You come in. Uh, you don't get to turn. Because that would be a horrible thing. You don't get to turn left either. You don't get to turn left. Come on. Where are you? There you are. No left turn for you. Traffic lights go away. You're perfect. You are perfect. You are confusing me. Because you are the wrong way around. Oh, okay. Uh, you're fine. You are the wrong way around. Um, because you should be the feed in, you should be the feed out. That's right. Okay, they just flipped. That's all it is. They are just ever so slightly flipped around. So, upgrade tool. Flip, 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 flip. That's what confused the hell out of me. Alright, upgrade tool done. And then let's go do the junction stuff. Because obviously that uh, hasn't been done yet. Traffic lights off. Junction restrictions. You get to big old no. And you get also a no. Alright, so that should be all the junctions lined up and done. No cross traffic. And if you want to get across there, just go down to the next one and take that. That should work quite nicely. Okay. That should work. And let's just get the spikes in place. Uh, the spikes are the roads that go away from it. So they'll be traveling straight lines out. And then we'll be uh, working on connecting those together in the next episode with housing. That and then... So these are going to have a slight curve away from each other due to the curve of the road itself. But uh, that won't be too hard. And if anything, it might just make an interesting layout. Ooh, you were uh, close to what you were. There you go. I moved the camera away to find you and it was like, right there. Uh, you go there. Boop, boop, bit more. There you go. Uh, you two go that way. Here, 90 degrees, please. Thank you. And you would go there. And that's it. Okay. So that's actually the road layout. That, I knew that gap of there and there were bigger, but I, can't, I don't think you can get away with that, unfortunately. Even though you have to be bigger there. So we'll probably have another road or two coming up here. Probably, yeah, probably about two roads going up here. And then these will all be bridged together in the big hex. A hex. A big square grid. Uh, with these ones curving around the, on the outside. But that's, what, that's the layout of that side. This side of the road, what I'll probably end up doing is these ones here, bring them through. Rather than joining them to the motorway directly. And make, maybe upgrade this road at some point. And these slip roads might need an upgrade. But it depends. And I'm not even sure we'll do anything this side. Because they might just leave the beach as a beach. But I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe just a few touristy buildings out here. You know, the beach ones. Hmm. Let me know what you think about that. Should we build on the beach area? A, a small commercial area? Like, like there. With some beach buildings around? Or should we build more of a... Um, a full commercial district? Because with the road layout, I think it would be better off to have like a, a, two little districts and then some of the... Where are you hiding? Uh, some of these? No, that's education. That's transport. Yeah, some of the beach ones. Some of these. Not all of them, but some of these beachy ones on the edge on the coast with, a, with small uh, districts on these little green plops. I like that idea. Let me know what you think of that. But uh, that road has been... That road has taken a little while to build. Um, but I think that layout should work quite nicely. Let's just very quickly um, connect these roads up in a way that might make sense to someone. Because um, we're going to have like, these to come down here like that, you see. So you'll do that, and you will then do that, and you're going to come down there. Boom. And then one there. So pretty much wherever we have one of these, I'm going to try and put one of these down. But if I can't, because there's a thing in the way, it will just move the thing. Move the thing. Thank you, thing. Uh, put you there. And then we have the places in places in space. The, uh, the spacing's down for, uh, for when we come to do the next piece, which will be that. So here, this will be the last one. Probably even 
might be on the end of the road instead of the, there. But so that's that's the connecting to here. So for example, you will come down to here and then supply that. You will probably come over here and connect to that. So those two those two should feed that one. And those two will probably feed that one or that one and one over here. One over here will feed that. So those two will feed that. I'm not sure what we'll do with that one yet. Maybe a dedicated line down here to that. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. But let me know what you think of the basic design of that. And we'll, uh, we'll see how we can move this on. But for now... Not straight to it, please. No. But for now, you go to there. And you would go up to there. And then you... Pull that back a bit because it appears to be on the hill. You would go up here. To about there. Then you would go there. You would go... There. I'm trying to avoid those mountainy pieces on the edges as well. To there. And then you would do a harder turn due to that uh, thing. But not that much. To there. And then you would go right to th there. Boop. Alright. And then these ones just need to connect into those. Which hopefully won't be giving me that. It's too short a gap. You can't do it message. Yeah, you would do. I knew you would do. Really? You can't climb that hill. i try that again. That way? There you go. Uh, and you should all be connected, apart from you, because you're awkward. There we go. All connected. So that is all done there. Probably want to connect these up to the top piece as well. Let's do that anyway, regardless of what we want to. Uh, you have a long road and a narrow gap to be in, but that's fine. It happens occasionally. Boop, and you would go... Boop. There we go. All that area is prepped and ready. We just need to do the side roads in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. And then we'll be ready to go. All right, let me know what you think of that design. It might be tweaked by the next episode, but we'll, uh, we'll surely come to it at that point. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.